Hello and welcome to Raider HQ After Dark. I'm your host Raider. Now in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually showing you, going step by step, showing you how I get on the civilian side page, how I get to the changes, the M21-1 changes Word document that summarizes everything. I know I've had a lot of questions about that, like a lot of, hey, how do I get there? It's not working type thing. And I know that this will take away from like people. I don't like to make people reliant on me to where I show them the changes and they have to come to me. And I know that's a detriment. Like it, it'll obviously take away from my views, but I want you guys to be able to see what I see. I don't want to hold anything back. Now, before we get into it, what I would like to talk about is the amazing growth of the channel. I would like to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch the videos, to subscribe to the videos. I'd also like to point out the members, the VSR level and the Raider level, who have not only decided to give their hard-earned time, but also their hard-earned money to help support the channel. I appreciate you guys. Like, this is directly to you guys. You guys don't have to do that. Nobody has to support the channel. But you guys do, and you guys are rock stars for doing it. So the other thing, there was another thing I want to talk about, too, before I got too far into it but I can't remember, and I've done this like four times because I can't remember what that one thing is. So we're just going to transition over to the M21 manual, the veteran-facing portion of it. Now, I'm going to put a link in the chat to this specific page, so that way everybody can start from the same resource. So that will be, I'll put it in the video description, but I will also pin it as the top comment in the channel. And that way... I can, you know, you can spread the wealth to others about how to do this. I suggest you guys do this from time to time uh, because the VA makes drastic changes to the M21 that literally go unnoticed by most people to include cl uh, attorneys, accredited attorneys, accredited claims agents, uh, even raiders, VSRs and the like miss these changes. And these changes, changes are important because this is the structure of how your claim is supposed to be worked. And the goalpost is constantly moving. So it behooves us, you know, train how you fight and fight how you train. So we need to train to look at this stuff and review it. Now, if you were, if you were given a manual reference, there's a couple of ways that you could go about searching it. You could put it up here in the search bar. Or you could go down here and go, okay, the first part of it started with four. So I'm going to go to part four. But the way you read this is, these are the resources for the M21-1 portion of the manual. Now, unless you're an attorney or an accredited claims agent or a VSO, this should be the portion that you're in. You don't necessarily need to be in the other portions uh, unless you're really getting into fighting something pretty hard with how like QRT did an error or something like that. But the way that you look at this is this is part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and, it, and so on. And then you would just click on them and you would go to, and then it would say subpart. So whenever it goes like, uh, three, one, two, one, you know, that this is how you could go about doing it. But what I'm here for today is I'm here to actually talk about this right here. It's VA changes by date. Okay, and then if you are kind of like me and you're, you're nerdy, you can go back in time and see what changed, when it changed, how it changed. But for those of you that want current changes, you would come down here to 2025. And then you can either click on the month and that'll kind of hyperlink you to that section of this particular document. But as you can see, there are so many changes that have happened since the beginning of the year. And some of these changes are fluff and other changes are drastic. Like one of the drastic ones that I will say that I'm going to be doing a video on today for before the live stream is uh, these changes to the BDD process and these change IDES is also a form of BDD. So both of these right here are BDD changes. And these updates clarify what conditions warrant an exam. And I'm just going to give a little bit of um, 
foreshadowing here. I disagree with the premise of this, and I think that this is a bad change because it gives way too much power to, to the VSRs who do not know what is or is not a disability for rating purposes. So that's my short take on it, but I will go into more detail on it. And I also hate this because it starts to set the precedence for the VA likes to change rules that force VSRs and raters to ignore portions of the 38 CFR. This is that this is what happens. Like this right here is the start of them trying to get a handle on something without having to go to Congress or something like that to get a formal change. So this is them trying to force the system, force the the decision makers to view things in a certain way. And I don't like it. But let's say that we wanted, well, let's I'll I'll do this breakdown in a little bit. Um, but let's go back here to the PACT Act guidance. Um, or let's do the duty to notify. We haven't done that one yet. This one's going to be kind of a fluff thing, not really. So this right here is going to be like a summary of the, um, the change. Like this is the aftermath change. And as you notice here, you don't have that fancy yellow uh, highlight to show you what has changed. So let me go down here and I'll kind of just show you the way that you go about looking at it is you scroll all the way to the bottom. And this is going to be true for every one of these. So it doesn't matter which one we do. And we'll do another one here in a second. Scroll all the way to the bottom of this first section that's titled attachments. So you'll go to the attachments section and you'll scroll all the way to the bottom. And you see how there's a 12, 4, 20, 25. And it's a, um, it's a, Word document. It's a DOCX document. You will click on this and this will give you that um, that change. Give me just a second and I will just to protect my information. I got to pause this for a second. And through the power of video editing, we're back. And so once you click on this, it'll download this document. And then let me just do this real quick. I didn't do it beforehand, so we're just winging it. Once you download it, then you will get this particular document will come up. You'll get the Word document. It will say 1224 key changes. It'll have the manual reference up here. And then when we come down here, this is where you're going to start to see all the yellow changes. Like these are these are the things that are new. Everything in yellow is new. So that's how you can see, okay, so they've talked about post-traumatic stress disorder. They changed some wording in here for how the VSRs and the Raiders uh, take actions on these particular steps for the duty to assist. They've changed this right here for the regional office information. Now, some just because they changed something doesn't mean that something that it's importantly changed. You know, it's not not everything's a nugget. Not everything's like a big dramatic thing. Like for here, it just probably updates the manual reference more properly. Uh, sometimes manual references shift around, so this is probably a new, more specific one. Sometimes they just fix grammar. Uh, not everything that happens is just this big magical thing. But that, my friends, is how you go about, that's me handing you all the keys to drive the car, um, you know, when it comes to looking up these things. So that way you can arm yourselves in the future. You can watch this and you can start picking out the things that matter to you and looking at them. Now, for VSOs, I suggest you do this. If a new change comes out, you need to be cognizant of that change. Or if there's a new process, like make it a hobby to sometimes come in here. Same thing with you attorneys. Just because you're an attorney doesn't mean you know everything, okay? The, the boundary that you play in is the M21 and it's constantly moving. And I understand that this can be confusing for attorneys because a lot of their structure and format typically should stay the same in a legal capacity. But this, the foundational legal precedents are changing all the time in the M21. So that's about all I want to talk to you guys about on this one. Um, I will put out, I don't know if I'm going to put out the BDD claim either today 
or tomorrow. I don't want to do them both on the same day. I might put this one out on Sunday. I think I'm going to just air this one on Sunday. So if you get confused by how I was talking earlier, I'm just doing this in real time. So, but anyway, that's about all I got for you guys today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the live stream tonight because I'm recording this on 12, 6, 2025. Um, and yeah, just bring your questions. Uh, we can talk about anything, but anyway, that's about all I have for you today. Raider out.